This is the 5-Minute Youth Devotional Reading with Alex Sarria. September 11, Festive Memories. Psalm 42.4 says, My heart is breaking as I remember how it used to be. I walked among the crowds of worshipers, leading a great procession to the house of God, singing for joy and giving thanks. It was the sound of a great celebration. Psalm 42.4 Those were difficult times. The psalmist missed the times when it was normal to meet the Lord in freedom with tranquility. Like a deer looking for water, bellowing in despair, he looked for God and did not find him. Because that is usually the issue. Problems confuse us so much that we do not see clearly neither the future nor the past. That, however, is a time to try to take a look at the past, at the time lived with God, at festive memories. For instance, David remembered with longing how the Israelites walked to the house of God like pilgrims on a pilgrimage. How they went up the slopes of Jerusalem among the cries of joy and praise. Thus, jumping for joy with the smell of the field, they entered through the temple doors. They enthusiastically sang the psalms of the great Hallel and shared experiences and testimonies. That memory kept them in the present and gave them hope for the future. In 1989, in Barcelona, we held an international congress of Adventist youth in Europe. And when I walked through the beautiful city, I still remember the posters with our church logo. When I pass by the Palace of St. Jordi, I remember the image of thousands of young people praising God and hoping for his soon return. When I sit down in one of the plazas in Montjuice, I recall hundreds of young people giving testimonies. It was the first time I had seen something like that. I had since experienced many other events like that and I thank God because it does me so much good. There are days when nothing is festive and we have to pull out the good memories that God has allowed us to have. Those good memories are the reality of future hopes. Your memories build your spiritual life. If you only have problems or difficulties in mind, you may think that the religious life is not worth living. Try to emphasize the moments of happiness. Create festive moments related to your spiritual life. Establishing a good atmosphere at home, practicing hospitality with the family, and generating healthy environments, and preparing celebrations in the church with Our friends, in which we thank the Lord, are some areas. I know, however, that you're much more creative than I am. So start thinking about the party you plan to have, which will be a good memory when the difficult moments come. And please, I look forward to your invitation. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If this was helpful for you, please share it with a friend. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Always remember this. Walking with God is the greatest thing you could ever do. You are his priority. Make him yours. And you will always live out your purpose. God bless.